Hello and welcome to the very first episode of Scouring the History, a YouTube series where I, Paridhi, will be making videos on the history of our cities, cultures, food and many more. So, without a further ado, let's get started. So, in the very first episode, I am going to be telling you the history of Mumbai, a city where I belong to. A city of dreams, a city which never sleeps. But it was not always like this before. This is the map of M Mumbai we live in right now. But back in time, this city comprised of seven main islands, which were Mahim, Parar, Vari, Mazgao, Bombay, Little Kolaba and Kolaba, with small islands in between. According to the sediments found near Kandivli in the northern Mumbai by British archaeologist Malcolm Todd, in 1939 indicates that the habitation in these islands was since the Stone Age. The indigenous tribals have inhabited Mumbai since the Stone Age. The Koris, the Agris, the Marathi Konkadi people were the earliest known settlers of these islands. During the age of dynastical empires, these islands were incorporated in the Mauryan Empire during the reign of Emperor Ashoka in the 3rd century BCE. In the mid-3rd century, Buddhist monks, scholars, artists created the artwork, inscriptions and sculptures of the Kanheri Caves and the Mahakali Caves. After the decline of the Mauryan Empire, around 185 BCE, these islands fell to the Satvahanas. After the end of the Satvahanas rule, in 250 CE, the Abhiras of the Western Maharashtra held dominant over the islands. The Abhiras ruled for 167 years till around 417 CE. The Kalachuris of the Central India ruled the islands during the 5th century which were then acquired by the Mauryas of the Konkan in the 6th and the early part of the 7th century. Christianity arrived in the islands during the 6th century, when the Nestorian church made its presence in India. The Mauryan presence ended when the Chalukyas of Badamni in Karnataka under the Pulashikin II invaded the islands in 610. Dhanti Durga of the Rashtrakuta dynasty of Karnataka conquered the islands during 749 and 750 CE. The Silhara dynasty of Konkan ruled the region between 810 and 1260 CE. King Bhimadev founded this kingdom in the region in the late 13th century and established his capital in Mahikavati, which is present-day Mahim. He belonged to either the Yadava dynasty of Devgiri. After his death in 1303 CE, he was succeeded by his son Pratap Bimba. The islands were wrested from Pratap Bimba's control by Mubarak Khan, a self-proclaimed regent of the Khilji dynasty, who occupied Mahim and Salset in 1318. Pratibimba later reconquered these islands, which he ruled till 1331. Later, his brother-in-law Nagar Dev for 17 years till 1348. The islands came under the control of the Muslim rulers of Gujarat in 1348. The Muslim rule lasted from 1348 to 1391. After the establishment of the Gujarat Sultanate in 1391, Muzaffar Shah I was appointed as the Viceroy of North Konkan. For the administration of the islands, he appointed a governor for Mahim. During the reign of Ahmad Shah I, Malik Ushar was appointed as the governor of Mahi. During the early 15th century, the Bhandari seized the island of Mahim from the Sultanate and ruled it for over straight eight years. 
it was reconquered by Rai Kutub of the Gujarat Sultanate. Firishta, a Persian historian, recorded that by 1429, the seat of the government of the Gujarat Sultanate in the North Konkan had transferred from Thane to Mahim. On Rai Kutub's death in 1429, Ahmad Shah Wad, Wali of the Bahamani Sultanate of the Deccan captured Sanset and Mahim. He retaliated by sending his son Zafar Khan to recapture the lost territory. Zafar emerged victorious in the battle fought with Ahmad Shah Wad, Wali. Mahim was recaptured by the Sultanate of Gujarat. The Sultanate's patronage led to the construction of many mosques, prominent being the Haji Ali Darga in Mahim, built in the honor of Saint Haji Ali in 1431. After the death of Qutub Khan, the Gujarat commandment of Mahim, Ahmad Shah Wan Wali again dispatched a large army to capture Mahim. During 1491 and 1494, the island suffered sea pirates from Bahadur Khan Gilani, a nobleman of the Bahamani Sultanate. After the end of the Bahamani Sultanate, Bahadur Khan Gilani and Muhammad Gawan broke out in rebellion at the port of Dabur and conquered the islands along with the wall of Konkan. Portuguese explorer Francisco de Almeida's ship sailed into the deep natural harbor of the island in 1508 and he called it the Bomb Bay, which in English means the Good Bay. However, the Portuguese paid their first visit to the islands on 21st January 1509 when they landed at the Mahim after capturing a large barge in the Mahim Creek. After a series of attacks by the Gujarat Sultanate, the islands were recaptured by Sultan Bahadur Shah. In 1526, the Portuguese established their factory at Basin. During 1528 and 1529, Lopo Vaz de Sampio seized the fort of Mahim from the Gujarat Sultanate when the king was at war with Nizam Umulk, the emperor of Chor, a town south of the islands. Bahadur Shah had grown apprehensive of the power of the Mughal Emperor Humayun and he was obliged to sign the Treaty of Basin with Portuguese on 23rd December 1534. According to a treaty, the islands of Mumbai and Basin were offered to the Portuguese. Basin and the seven islands were later by a treaty of peace and commerce between Bahadur Shah and Nunada Chunha, Viceroy of Portuguese, on 25th October 1537 was surrendered, ending the Islamic rule in Mumbai. The Sam Miguel St. Michael Church in Mumbai is one of the oldest churches in Bombay, was, which was built by the Portuguese in 1540. The annexation of Portugal by Spain in 1580 opened the way for the other European powers to follow the spice routes to India. The Dutch arrived first, closely followed by the British. The first British merchants arrived in Bombay in November 1583 and travelled through Basin, Thane and Chol. The Battle of Swally was fought between the British and the Portuguese at Surat in 1612 for the possession of Bombay. The growing power of the Dutch by the middle of the 17th century forced the Surat Council of the British Empire to acquire Bombay from King John IV of Portuguese in 1659. The marriage treaty of Charles II of England and Catherine of Portugal on 8th May 1661 placed Bombay in British provinces as a part of Catherine's dowry to Charles. And that is how Mumbai came under the British rule. So, this marks the end of episode 1. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then please like, share, comment and subscribe. And stay tuned till the next episode is out. Till then, keep reading, keep exploring and have a great time. Bye!